Today on Torch TV, we learn about the food pantry's impact on students and the community. We'll take a look at the resources available to students preparing for the AP test in the coming month. And we'll take a deeper dive into C4 and how it prepares students for future careers. All that and more on Torch TV. Hello and welcome back to the Columbus East Media Studios. I'm your host Peyton Meyer and alongside me is Nate Wilson. How are you doing today, Nate? I'm good and I'm super excited for this four day weekend. I totally agree and I'm so ready to get right into our show today where our top story is all about the food pantry. Sophomore and 16th birthday girl, Abby Jones joins us with more. Thanks Peyton. The Columbus East Food Pantry helps out the community by distributing food right to your car door. But did you know the food pantry is also for students? Find out how you can get involved with the food pantry. It has been running for almost 10 years now. And with all the food they distribute to the community, they are lucky to receive a lot of help from student volunteers. We have some students that show up every month to help out without even letting us know that they're going to be there. And this is after school on a Friday. The drive up distributions are hustle. I mean, we go through over 200 families in two hours. So for these amazing students to just show up and help us <laughs> without any kind of reward, without any kind of payback, it's just wonderful. Having a food pantry here at East means that as a student, you're available to pick up some of that food. Unfortunately, there might be a stigma with using it. It is uncomfortable because in order to use it, that means they've got to go down to the food pantry and they've got to get sometimes two or three bags worth of food. It, it probably is a little intimidating. Everybody is welcome down in the food pantry, not just the students at East, but the community of Columbus as well. So when we began, it was intended to be a student-only food pantry. But when we realized that we could get more food than we even could make available to kids, we decided to open it up to the community. They just show up, we give them food. Food, everybody needs food, and everybody's family goes through difficult times. You don't even have to be on the food assistance program in order to take advantage. It's for everybody. Everybody needs food, and luckily, it's available for you right here at East. The Food Pantry is open April 22nd and May 20th. Remember, the Food Pantry is for you. Abby, how can students volunteer to help with the Food Pantry? If you want to help volunteer, contact Mr. Lewis or Mrs. Romanski on his learning to find out how to help. Want to always remember some of your high school friends, memories, or even teachers? If so, buy a yearbook. You can order them as well as senior ads on joshens.com. Order yours today. It's that time of year again. Do you need corsages or boutonnieres for prom? FCCLA is selling them. They come in a set or you can buy them separately. Check the posters around the school or the class is learning page for more. Coming up next on Torch TV. By consulting several AP teachers, we'll cover up the resources and strategies a student can use to study for the AP test. All that and more after the break. The Columbus East Counseling Center has many resources for students to utilize. Every student has a counselor based on their last name to help them with their needs, whether it be emotional or academic. For her last names A through F, you have Mr. Hansen. Her last names G through M, you have Ms. Wagner. Her last names M through S, you have Ms. Hinton. Her last names T through Z, you have Mrs. Beck. If you need to talk to your counselor, simply go during your resource and sign in on the sheet for your counselor and wait. Whether you have schedule changes or need support, remember, the Counseling Center is for you. Let's review how to be a respectful and safe driver in our student parking lot. Watch out for pedestrians who are walking in the road. Park within the yellow line. Play music at an appropriate volume. Dispose of your trash properly in the bins put around the parking lot. Thank you for making our parking lots a safer and cleaner place. The tests that AP students have prepared for the entire year are less than a month away. Each exam covers vastly different topics and requires many unique skills, but the preparation process aren't all that different. 
We spoke to a past successful AP student and a few AP teachers to figure out how you can dominate your AP test. AP tests are right around the corner, and for many students, this will be their first, making room for many questions, such as how and when to start preparing. I think they should start now. Um, there's about four weeks until the AP exams, usually the first week of May and the second week of May, so I would start studying as soon as possible. This isn't like some test you can study like the night before. Like these are these are college level tests, and so students need to uh, recognize that, that they need to put in that time, they need to put in that effort. I started studying about April 1st, um, right before spring break last year, and that seemed to help me to kind of reinforce my notes and kind of really, really review in depth. You do not want to cram. It's gonna just stress you out more and then you're gonna be stressed out the week of APs and that's just not good. Studying can be overwhelming, but there are lots of resources available to make reviewing easier and give more structure to the process. Albert I.O. actually has, um, I think maybe in some ways, some more difficult questions, so students are a little bit more prepared. You can use so much of it for free. I used AP Classroom a lot last year and I'll be using it a lot this year too. Um, I also used a lot of Khan Academy when I studied last year. They have a lot of AP courses on there that you can just study for free and kind of get a different perspective if maybe you didn't understand something a particular teacher was saying. In the end, whatever mindset you choose is going to have a great impact on the outcome of the tests. You know, have some confidence in your own abilities that you'll be successful. Just go in there confident. Don't feel like you're going in there to bomb a test, but go in there to feel like you're going to do the best. I think kind of like trusting yourself. So I wish I would have taken a breath and known that it was going to all like come into play and I didn't need to stress so much. I think just kind of leaving it alone and trusting where you're at night before is what you got to do. And then you got to, you know, eat breakfast, prepare mentally, and that's, that's it. Did you know that music can make a huge difference in how you feel? Kiki Rodriguez's senior project was to create a website that promotes listening to positive music. And she even tells you how music can benefit your mood. You can find this link on your It's Learning page. Students driving to school, please make sure you park your car in a marked parking spot within the two designated student parking lots. Do not park your car on the sidewalk, curb, grass, or even in the handicapped spots. Next up, we'll explore how C4 gives students first-hand experience to be successful in their careers by talking to teachers that make up the program. All that and more after the break. How many times have you experienced bad parking in the student parking lot? Young drivers tend to struggle to park in between the lines. Sometimes you have to ask yourself the tough question, am I the problem or is it someone else? Taking responsibility for your own parking is the first way to solve the problem. Columbus Area Connection, commonly known as C4, has an abundance of opportunities that students can take advantage of to get ahead. Over 3,400 students are taking various C4 classes from schools other than East and North, such as Brown County, Hauser, and Jennings County. Unlike other classes, C4 utilizes real-world work inside of the classroom, giving students a first-hand experience in their future careers. I have numerous students every year come back and say how glad they are that they took the, the classes because they feel like they are set aside from a lot of their peers in college. We have a partnership group that's made up of lots of business and industry folks here, not only in Columbus but around the area. And they come in and they do mock interviews. They come in and they talk to kids about what's expected in industry. They talk about social media and how they will sometimes check social media before hiring someone. Uh, and I don't think kids understand that one. This Week in Sports, 
Tonight in the Orange Pit, your boys volleyball team looks to extend their three-game winning streak. They have a tri-match against North Perry at Meridian at starting at 6. Tonight at 5.30, our varsity baseball team plays Madison. They will also be playing Floyd Central tomorrow night at 6. Our girls' tennis team will also have a match tomorrow at 4.45 p.m. at Seymour. Tomorrow, track and field has a meet at 5 p.m. against Jennings County. This Saturday, our girls' softball team is playing Mount Vernon at 10 a.m. Good luck to all of our sports teams. Before we end sports, let's recognize our seniors who were able to sign to colleges so that they could play their sports into college. Congrats to our very own Corinne Grivey, who signed Indiana West Lyon University to play basketball. Congrats to Branson Young, who signed to Delta State University for soccer, and to Elizabeth Prophet, who signed to the University of Indianapolis for swimming, and to Chris Quisenberry, who signed to Loyola University for soccer. Congrats to all. That's all we have in sports. Back to you guys. That's all we have time for today. From Nate, Abby, Caleb, and the rest of the Torch TV crew, I'm Peyton Meyer, and thank you for watching. And as always, try to be the best spot of someone's day.